Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Software Carpentry Lectures on Handling Directories and Files in Python. In this episode, we'll have a look at how directories can be browsed in Python. We have seen how Python allows us to save data into files and read data from files. But we might also want to do a number of other things. For example, see what files we have. For example, if offering a choice of files for users to select. We might wish to delete files, group files into directories, and structure these directories into a tree. For example, we might want to create a directory containing a set of input files holding data for processing. Now, we could use the shell to do these directory and file manipulations, but then we would need both our Python program and our shell commands. Our program would not be very portable. If we wanted to run it on both Linux and Windows, we'd need two sets of shell commands. Fortunately, we can do it all in Python. As a simple example, we'll start by accessing the current directory. First, we import the getcwd function from the OS module. If we then run the getcwd, Python will show us the current working directory. That is, the directory in which Python was started. getcwd is a function and it returns the current directory, so we can assign that to a variable. Then, we can use that variable, for example, print it. To list the contents of a directory, we can use the list dir function. So, let us import that. List dir takes one argument, the path of the directory to list. This can be relative or absolute. So, let us use a dot to state that we want to list the current working directory. List dir returns a list of the contents of the current directory. Note that the file and directories in the list are not in alphabetical order. Instead of using the dot convention for the current directory, it's cleaner and more portable if we use getcwd. As we can see, the result is the same. And here we use list dir, but with the original dir variable, in which we stored the value of getcwd. As for getcwd, we can save the output of listdir in a variable. So, we can list a directory whose name is in original dir and save this list in a variable called files. Files will now contain a list of the files and directories in original dir. We can then print files. We can use a for in loop to print each file in the list in turn. So here we say we want to consider each element of files in turn. Remember the colon. We then provide our loop body. Here we will just print the variable file. Remember that we need to type in four spaces before print. Then we just press return on a blank line. The loop is now finished and will execute. And as we can see, each member of files is printed. To change the current working directory, we use the chdir function. So let us import that. This function takes one argument, the path of the directory, to be the new current working directory. This can be an absolute or a relative path. Let's run it to change into the data directory. We can use getcwd to check that we have indeed changed the working directory. And then we can use listdir to see what's in data. As we saved our original directory in the variable originaldir, we can use this with chdir to get back to where we came from. And use getcwd to show that this has indeed happened. When we call chdir in Python, it only changes the current working directory as known to Python. What the shell within which we started Python considers to be the current working directory remains unchanged. For example, let us again change into the data directory. Using getcwd, we can see that, as far as Python is concerned, we are now in users vlad data. If we exit Python using Ctrl D, 
and run the Linux pwd command, we see that as far as the shell is concerned, we are still in users vlad, which is the directory in which we started Python. So, to summarize, we have used the following functions in the Python OS module to browse directories. Get CWD allows us to get the current working directory. ListDir allows us to list the contents of a specific directory and ChDir allows us to change the current working directory to be a specific directory. Thank you for listening.